Wilson, it's been a long time, man. I know it's been a minute since we made some real videos, but guys, welcome back. I'm back, me, Wilson, we're back. We're back, man. And I wanna welcome you back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I am your host, Antoine. We got some new news on some new stuff, Richardson. So let's go. Today, we are just gonna talk about some stuff, man. This is not like a product showcase or nothing, but I, I got this new news, man. Where am I, what am I looking at? I saw this on the web here. This is the Trusted Reviews website. You can look this up anywhere if you just Google Sony XM5, but Sony is up to their same old shenanigans. Um, Basically, they're fixing stuff that ain't broken. <laughs> that's that's what the Sony shenanigans are. Man, the XM5s are coming out. The Sony WHX, the, I'm sorry, the Sony WH1000 XM5s. There is no release date just yet, but we do have some leaks here that I'm getting from this website called uh, Trusted Reviews. Uh, it looks like the only thing we really know right now is that they're gonna look different, which we'll talk about in a second as well as uh, boast an extra 10 hours of battery life on top of the existing 40 hours battery life from the XM4. So 40 hours battery life, that's a whole work week worth of battery. I didn't have any complaints about that, but it's always good to have an extra 10 hours. That's 50 hours, dude. That's that's like a, that's overtime. You know what I'm saying? You can get paid time and a half while you jamming your uh, headphones in Supreme Noise Cancellation. But it looks like they're gonna have a lot of the same stuff on there, like the custom button. Well, the ambient sound, or I'm sorry, the custom button has been changed to the ambient sound slash um, uh, noise cancellation button so you'll get to toggle through that and it looks like the uh, the power button has been converted into a slider but the thing I want to talk about the most because we don't have anything else man uh, the software you know the app and stuff like that is probably gonna still look the same for those of you who are like me who really like the the XM3 uh, with the sound v surround VPT feature inside of the app that didn't come with the XM4 and I doubt they're gonna bring it forward to the XM5 because my videos are not popular enough to get Sony's attention on that particular topic. So yeah, I don't think they really care. They think they did something good by taking that out of there. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it'll still have a lot of the same features, maybe a bonus or two from the XM4 within the app. But let's talk about the looks, man. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of this new look. I actually appreciated Sony's OG look of the uh, the Sony, the, the original 1000s, uh, the, the XM2, the XM3, the XM4. You know, sometimes it's a little bit of a disappointment that you don't get a new design, but it's also a good thing because if you get it right, why change it? And now it looks like, these look like another set of headphones. I cannot put my, I can't place my finger on it, man. Like the Dolby Dimensions or is it Bowers and Wilkins? Th these look like, a combination of like two different headphones. The headband uh, looks, reminds me of like, you know, the sound core joints, you know, the, the Q30s and Q35s. Um, the the ear cups, the outside of the ear cups, like the profile side, the side view, it looks like something, I can't not put my finger on it, but it doesn't look like a Sony headphone. Sony has always had like a good looking, headphone man just sleek looking these are just different it is it's gonna take me a while to get used to this look man it, it looks a little bulky to be honest with you and it looks like uh while they do swivel so you can lay them flat and flat on your on your chest it does not look like they're gonna fold up especially when you look at them in the uh the carrying case they just look huge actually they, they look a little extra big sony is still providing us with the same colorway we got that black with the gold or rose gold and then they got that they're calling it silver but it's really like i never really liked sony's white it's like a hospital grade white to me it's it's like this cream beige color that almost reminds me of hospital equipment from the 80s you know <laughs> so we got that color right there with i think that that might be some silver or gold in there and in, in the, with the logo and stuff but that's pretty much all we got man looks like bluetooth 5.2 as far as far as specs go and a longer battery life what do you guys think about the look of these headphones because that's really all we got to go off of uh i think battery life we're good there so what do you guys think about the looks let me know in the comments what you think about the looks uh did sony fix something that was really not broken especially when it comes to folding them up because you know what if you don't want to use the actual case uh to you know snake them around in the case what if you just wanted to fold them up and just shove them in something you know that's a nice compact like ball size of a 
of a footprint to put in a bag versus laying them flat or having them in this big chunky case. So I'm kind of disappointed that they don't look, they don't, they do not appear to fold. I can't gather that and they don't have them folded up on here. So I, I just, uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to fold. So what do you guys think about the non-folding and this new look of the Sony, um, XM5s, man, I definitely want to know. But I got more new news on new stuff. The Link Buds. The original Link Buds, when I say that, the original Link Buds, they just came out this year, like four or five months ago. <laughs> it's not like they've been out for a while. The Link Buds, you know, the ones, the open back earbuds that Sony came out with, they were all right, man. They they were not good enough for me to replace my Galaxy Buds, uh, Buds Live with, but they were, they were all right uh, earbuds, you know, for listening to your ambient sound and, you know, stuff like that. And then they had Sony quality, you know, in the back of that. But now we got another set of link buds coming out, man. Let me let me look this up real quick because I saw this this morning as I was looking at the, the, the headphones. So give me a second. I'm going to look that up and tell you about it. So they really don't really favor, as far as looks, the uh, the Sony Link Buds that just released a few months back. They actually look more a lot like the uh, the Sony WFC 500 True Wireless Earbuds, but they're branding them Link Buds. So I don't know what Sony's going to be doing here because, yeah, you've already got a set of buds that look like something you've already put out so are they going to be calling are, are, is sony going to be like using real names instead of this these wacky numbers that they come up with so that's something to look out for because they're calling this net set of earbuds link buds but in what looks like an upgrade to the c500s we have this uh what is this this is like a microphone on the outside of that thing uh, so we're probably going to get some really good noise cancellation or some ambient sound. Cause you know, I think link buds is, is synonymous, you know, in Sony's world with the ambient sound. So maybe we'll have more ambient sound, but better blockage when you want to hear, uh, just your music. Uh, cause we have a, a closed, a full closed design with an earbud, a silicone ear tip that goes into your ear. So that's going to be the new Sony link, bud. I see a sensor on the back of there. So maybe we have some, some motion si uh, sensing, you know, when you take them out, they'll stop playing and when you put them in, they'll start playing. Uh, looks like it's going to have, you know, some, some touch features there. And of course we got this, this is more of a, a creamy, a, a deeper, a rich, a more rich cream color. And then we have that blackish gray, uh, as far as the two colorways, I don't think they're going to come in any other colors, but we just don't have any more specs. This is just breaking news that I'm finding out just like you find it out. So we'll have to wait to see what Sony has in store for us, but I'm excited that Sony is still, you know, pushing forward and, and doing things in the earbud, uh, in the earbud world and just, you know, trying to make things better and more fluid with our lifestyles. But let's circle back to the XM5 headphones. Do you guys think that like full scale ANC headphones are kind of going like to the wayside? Like I don't see much, you know, fanfare behind the full scale headphones anymore. It's really just about earbuds nowadays. So is Sony kind of wasting their time, you know, and energy developing a what looks to be a brand new set of headphones? Are you guys even still interested in actual headphones because everything seems to be about earbuds these days. I would love to know that because yeah, it just seems like everything's about earbuds. So I got a couple of questions for you guys to answer down there. First of all, what do you think about the new look of the XM5s? And also, do you think people even care about over ear headphones anymore? I don't think the, the mass market cares about over ear headphones anymore. I think that might be more of a niche market for people who just, you know, wear them when they travel and stuff like that. But to be spending $350, $400, it's probably what they're gonna cost, $350, $400, $379 uh, on a set of over-ear headphones that I think people are really just transitioning into uh, earbuds. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm very curious what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section and guess what? Yeah, yeah we're back, we're back. Gonna get some more videos out of me and Wilson, man. Hey, but until we get them videos out, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.